What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing my strategy guide for The Last of Us Remastered Multiplayer. Now, I know everybody out in the world pretty much has played the campaign of The Last of Us. The whole story, the dynamic between Joel and Ellie is an amazing thing to behold. And usually when people get done with a heavy gaming experience like that, they move on to other things. And I was one of those people too. I didn't play the Last of Us until about three and a half or four months ago. But let me tell you this, The Last of Us Remastered, The Last of Us period, multiplayer is one of the best multiplayer experiences I've ever had. It's very deep, very engaging, you have to engage with your teammates, and it's incredibly rewarding when you pull off these insane kills and you do things that only the baddest of the bad can do. Now I've played this game quite a bit, I've done some awesome kills, and I'm going to show you guys what you need to do to be beastly at this game. Marking enemies is a very important part of this game. Not only does marking enemies allow you to know where the enemies are at that period of time, but it also gives your teammates the ability to see where that enemy is. If you're going to be coordinating, if you're going to be working together as a team, marking enemies is paramount in The Last of Us multiplayer. Be sure to mark every enemy that you run into. Healing is a very important part of whether or not you survive and the enemy dies. Usually in shootouts and fist fights, the person with the most health is the last one left standing. And so I say, always have the most health. I heal often and I encourage you all to heal often. There are tons of healing kits layered throughout each map. Pick them up, use them whenever you get shot, whenever you get hit. If you get into a fist fight or a shootout, use them because you will have the upper hand when that enemy comes around the corner thinking that you're going to be a pushover. Heal and heal often. Molotov cocktails are one of my favorite weapons in this game. They're usually a one hit kill and when you craft them you feel powerful. It's a precision weapon so when you see an enemy at a distance you can aim and take them out usually with one shot. Molotovs are also great for taking out multiple enemies at a time. Nail bombs on the other hand are used to be explosive weapons. If you're in a situation where you're surrounded by enemies you can drop a nail bomb or toss one right in your face. It'll clear a room in a second. Nail bombs can also be dropped inside item boxes. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get it down, you'll get an enemy almost every single time. If you want to be creative, try using them both in tandem. Use the nail bomb to position an enemy where you want him to be, and then once he moves out of the way from the nail bomb, you come around and wipe him out with a Molotov cocktail. Listen mode gives you the ability to see through walls. You can crouch and hear enemy movements. So bear in mind, a good player will not run and will not move fast, making it almost impossible to see their movements. Lots of people play this game running gun style like Call of Duty. You'll see them coming from a distance. They have no idea you're there. So you just wait and they present themselves. Listen mode is worth its weight in gold. Just pay close attention to your listen gauge. It runs out fast and takes extra long to restore itself. Another great way to know what's going on in the game is to look at your mini-map. The mini-map is in the top left corner of the screen and it's that circle. That circle has blue dots and it'll occasionally have red dots. The red dots 
are the opposing team. Anytime the opposing team does an attack, melee, fires a gun, or runs, they will appear on your mini-map. Pay attention to your HUD in this game. It can save your life. God knows it saved mine many times. Patience is a virtue. There are going to be plenty of times in this game where you take an enemy down and you want to kill him and you shouldn't. There are going to be many times that your teammates are down and you're not going to be able to heal them. But you've got to know what to do, when to do it. Let's just say you take an enemy down and he's behind a wall. And you know his teammates are around. You know they're going to come and try to heal him. So what you want to do is put yourself in a position where you can get multiple kills. Wait for him to jump over the wall, throw a bomb, dodge whatever they throw at you, you get your down with your nail bomb and you go around the corner and you get yourself a multi-kill. Patience baby, it works. Oftentimes opponents will set bombs or traps that they don't expect you to see. Go to listen mode periodically to see what's behind walls. Enemies expect to catch you with their bombs and their traps. Don't get caught. Always be aware. Another thing that I'd like to tell you guys about is the way to pick up items. As crazy as that may sound, a lot of people waste unneeded time picking up items. Go into the box and hold the triangle button and you'll be able to pick up all the items at once. Again, you get to the item box, you crouch, open the box, angle toward the items you want to pick up, and hold down the triangle button. This saves tons of time and you'll get the jump on the opponents. Heal your teammates whenever you get the chance. Sometimes the other team will be setting you up, and sometimes you have an open opportunity to turn the tide of the game. Heal your teammates whenever you have the opportunity, and always be aware of your surroundings. Special weapons or purchasable weapons are unique weapons that you get after attaining a certain amount of gears. Everything from flamethrowers to military snipers and even my favorite, the machete, are available. So choose wisely because it all depends on your playstyle which weapon will save your life. Thanks for watching my strategy video guys. If these strategies help you at all in the multiplayer, please let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please support my channel by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.